Now, uh, let me just give you a brief skeleton um, of these. Um, we'll flick through these th three pages. Um, I've taken a chronological approach to organizing what you're going to be doing today. Okay. So the first question, which I'm going to try and answer for you, is like tonight, tomorrow, in the weeks to come, how do you study maths? How, how do you actually go about getting ready for it? Okay. Because there's right ways to do it and very unhelpful ways to do it. Okay. Then I'm going to think a little more long term. Your half yearlies are going to be coming up probably sometime next term, right? And um, you know, it's a funny thing, right? I um, I thought to myself as a student, right? I was the kind of person who was quite okay in class or with my friends. If you asked me a question, I would get it. Then I'd get to the exam, and my brain would just melt down, and it, I would I would take forever. I wouldn't finish things. There's this thing we call exam technique, right? Which is that you can be good at a subject. But then it's quite another thing to be good at the exams for that subject, right? So that's what that'll be about. And then lastly, we're going to try and think about next year. You're going to become senior students. Um, it's going to be a big deal. And the question you guys have to answer for yourself is, what kind of maths, if any, should I do next year? You have some serious choices to make, okay? And the choice you, do, you make will have a significant impact, obviously, on how you go for the next couple of years and beyond that, okay? And um, if we go for time, what time do we want to get out of here? Uh, 12.25. 25, okay. If we have time, um, I'd like to like, leave five minutes for questions as well. All right?